Greetings to you. I'm Elijah Muhammad, the preacher of freedom, justice, and equality to my people who has been lost and now found here in what is known as the United States of North America. For the past 400 long years, today, they want to know, and I think it is among many of you, other than the so-called Negro, who is not a Negro, but uh, is the lost and found members of their own nation, the black nation, who has been lost here in this Western Hemisphere without a name that they can call their own today, for they was robbed of that knowledge for the past 400 years. They are <coughs> asking, and everyone, as I say, is asking, that come in contact with us. Who are the Muslims? They want to know what this name actually means. The name Muslim is the same as that that is called Muslim in English. The word or uh, names both mean the same. It means one who has submitted to do the will of Almighty God. It's an Arab word. In the Arab language that they call in their language one who has submitted to do the will of Almighty God Allah is a Muslim. This name was given to the believers of Islam, the true religion of Almighty God Allah by Abraham in the 22nd surah or chapter of the Holy Quran. This name means a righteous person. It means the people who belongs or is uh, the people of God. The real people of righteousness and justice. The name Muslim kindly uh, confounds most of our people because they know not what the name means. But it means a righteous person are a person of God, meaning one who himself is from the creator of heaven and earth, and not one that has become one from another, but we are the true people of God the original black people. So Almighty God has taught us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praises is due, who came looking for that last member of the black nation, as it is written in the Bible and Ezekiel and in several other places, and Jesus made many parables of us, himself. In Ezekiel it says, uh, we read there, that God would go and search the earth for that lost member of the original people. Are the 
the true people of God before ever there comes about a judgment. This member or members uh, must be found before ever there can be a judgment. Today the question comes up time and again. Who are the Muslims? Every one of the 22 million or more of our people here in North America, Almighty God has declared them to be Muslims, the righteous. This is what the name means, the righteous. And that he has come for the purpose of returning all that believe in righteousness and will accept his name and <coughs> believe in the religion of Islam, the religion of entire submission to the will of Almighty God, which significance of this religion means the <coughs> making of peace, uh, I should say, the word Islam means actually peace within itself. This name or uh, word Islam the true religion of Almighty God, as it has been given to us from the mouth of God, now we have the Holy Quran, the book that teaches this religion, Islam. We have been deprived of the knowledge of Islam because our slave masters did not teach us this religion, though they have uh, it themselves, among themselves. And Islam uh, had been on our planet ever since that the planet and God himself, it came with God. This religion also was long time ahead of Christianity in Europe and the West. It had not been taught in the West when our fathers was put under slavery. And since their so-called freedom, the white man will not teach you Islam. Even today, because it is not their religion. And therefore, after the death of Jesus, they made themselves a religion. And put the name of Jesus on it so that people would accept it. Also, the uh, <coughs> has been teaching Islam here in America in secret society. But the so-called American Negro, who are the real people of Islam, was not taught anything of his own religion. And they are still against the teachings of Islam to the so-called American Negro. This is their anger today against you and against this religion. Why? Because it is the truth. Islam is the truth. It's uh, the religion of entire submission to the will of God and uh, could you hope to be accepted by God unless you submit yourself to do his will? Let any man try and answer that 
question without agreeing that that is the truth. That no man can be accepted by God unless he believes in God and submits to do his will. Therefore, when one submits to do the will of God, an Arab, they call that person a Muslim. We say in English, one who obeys God, or one who has submitted himself to God to do his will. But he is called Muslim in the Arab language. I want you to remember that the Muslims is the true people of God. They are the black people. They are a people that is peaceful and very submissive. This you agree with me. Now, what do they believe in? They believe in the one God whose proper name is Allah. Second, we believe in the Holy Quran and in the scriptures of all the prophets of God. Third, we believe in the truth of the Bible, but we believe that it has been tampered with and must be reinterpreted so that Man will not be snared by the falsehood that have been added to it. Fourth, we believe in Allah's prophets and the scriptures they brought to the people. From Noah, pardon me, from Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, these prophets we believe in, and Muhammad the last, all of their scriptures, Bible, Holy Quran, we believe. Whatever message they brought to the people, uh, from Almighty Allah, we believe in it. Fifth, we believe in the resurrection of the dead not in physical resurrection, but in mental resurrection. We have been taught and uh, this of the resurrection and this resurrection are the rising up in the last day of the mental dead people in a way that we should believe that it means a physical Resurrection of dead people coming up out of the graves. This you and me will never see. No one coming up out of the earth uh, on the judgment day. And this is the judgment uh, days that we are living in now. The days of judgment mean years of judgment. We are not going into how many years that is uh, going to be in the judgment or is in the, the judging of the people. Uh, on this uh, <coughs> uh, teachings of who is the Muslim, we will give you that under another title. We believe We are the people of God's choice, as it has been written. We believe that the resurrection of the dead only means mental death and not physical death. We don't look for our people to return from their graves physically. We look for our people who are living, walking around us daily, that is mentally dead to the knowledge of self, to the knowledge of God, to the knowledge of the truth, of 
the God religion whose proper name is Allah and his true religion is Islam and into the knowledge of the enemy of God the devil the enemy of the righteous we must have a firm knowledge of this the two people are the two gods on the day of resurrection without the knowledge of God and the devil on the day of resurrection we cannot take a choice in choosing either one we must have the knowledge of both we believe that God would choose the rejected and the despised on the day of resurrection we can find no other person or people fitting the, this description in these last days more than the so-called Negroes in America. We believe in the resurrection of the righteous. They too have to be resurrected into the knowledge of the true God and of the enemy of God and the righteous the devil we believe in the judgment we believe this judgment will take place as God has revealed it to us first here in America seven we believe this is the time in history for the separation of the so called Negroes and the so called white American, which they are not so-called white, they are white people. They are members of the white uh, race, uh, always referred to as the European race. We believe the black man should be freed in name as well as in truth. By this we mean that he should be free from the names imposed upon him by his former slave master. We believe also that these names which identify him as being the slave master's slave should be taken away from him if he is free. He should give them up. We believe that if we are free indeed, we should not go in our <coughs> slave master's name. We should go in our own people's name, our nation, the black people of the earth, as we are members of that uh, nation. Eight, we believe in justice for all, whether in God or not. Everyone should be given justice according to his works. We believe as others that we are do equal justice as human beings. We believe in equality as a nation of equals. We do not believe that we are equal with our slave master in this status uh, of a free slave or for free slaves. We recognize and respect American white citizens as independent people. And we respect their laws which governs their nation, this nation. We believe that the offer of integration uh, is hypocritical and is made by those who are trying to deceive the black people into believing that their 400 year old open enemy slave master and his children of freedom justice and equality at all 
of a sudden. Their friends. Furthermore, we believe that such deception is uh, intended to prevent uh, people from realizing that the time in history has arrived for the separation from the whites or white Americans. If the white people are truthful about their professed friendship towards the so-called Negroes, they can prove it by dividing America with the so-called Negro, their once slave. Give him a home somewhere here to live to himself. We do not believe that America will ever be able to furnish enough jobs for, uh, for her own millions of unemployed, in addition to jobs for the 20 million black people as well. Tenth, we believe that we who declared ourselves to be righteous Muslims should not participate in wars which takes the lives of human beings. We believe if we are the righteous, we should prove it by staying righteous and neutral when it comes to anything that is other than right, except that which is imposed upon us, as the Holy One teaches us. We should not never be the aggressor to anyone. Fight only when we are fought against. Thank you. I, s I know that this should give you a knowledge of the Muslim's belief. Now we turn to another question, which is always as, as well as who is the Muslim. This question is, what the Muslim want. This is as frequently by both the white and the blacks. The answer to this question I shall state as simple as possible. Number one, we want freedom. We want a full and complete freedom. Number two, we want justice, equal justice under the law of justice. We want justice applied equally to all, regardless of creed or class or color. Third, we want equality of opportunity. We want equal membership in a good society, a society of righteousness a society of civilized people who believe in peace, who believe in righteous peace and kindness and righteousness. For we want our people in America whose parents or grandparents were descendants from slaves. Mass this and to be allowed now to go to their own in some separate territory of this country if we are not allowed to return to our own land and people. Let us leave you let us go to our own people. Let us live somewhere to ourselves. This is what we want. We want to be our own self. We love our own selves. We love peace and contentment. We want to be at peace. And we want to be contented. 
We can't live at peace with you. This has been proven over a period of now over 400 long years. Either on this continent or elsewhere, we believe that our former slave masters are obligated to provide such land and that the area must be fertile and minerally rich. What I mean, we don't want no re Indian reservations. We don't want no desert. We want land that we can produce the necessity of life on for ourselves and our people, as you have now. We believe that our former slave masters are obligated to maintain and supply our needs in this separate territory for the next 20 to 25 years until we are able to produce and supply our own needs. Since we cannot get along with you in peace and there is no equality between us. After giving you 400 years of our sweat and blood and receiving in return some of the moist waste treatment that human beings have ever experienced, we believe our contribution to this land and people, the white race. This suffering forced upon us by white America justifies our demand for complete separation in a state or territory of our own. Fifth, we want freedom for all believers of Islam who are now held in federal prison houses. We want freedom for all black men and women. Now, some of them is even under death sentences in prison in the United States of North America as well as elsewhere, anywhere, they are held as prisoners. We want every black brother and sister, man or woman, to have the freedom to accept or reject being separated from the slave master's children and establish any land of their own. We know that the above plan for the solution of the black and white conflict that is now going on between them is the best and only answer to the problem between the two people, black and white. Separation is only the answer. Separation is the solution to this 400 years old, old problem as it is written and prophesied by Abraham that we would be lost and found among strangers and in a strange land and after 400 years God himself would judge that people and bring again us into our own who has been lost and now found. Six, we want an intermediate into the police brutality and mob attacks against we, the so-called American Negro, throughout America. 
which we believe and are satisfied is bound to end in the destruction of one or both. We believe that the federal government should intercede to see that black men and women tried in their white courts receive justice in according with the law of justice of this land. Allow us to build a new nation of ourselves and for ourselves, dedicated to justice, freedom, and liberty. We, number seven, believe that this is the best way to bring about peace among our people and yours. As long as we are now, or rather not allowed to be separated into a state or territory of our own, we demand not only equal justice under the law of the United States of America, but we also feel that we are justified in sharing in equal employment and equal opportunities. We believe that this should be done now. We do not believe that after 400 years of free or nearly free labor, sweat and blood, which has helped America become rich and the most powerful of her kind throughout the earth, that so many thousands of black people, we, the black people, should have to subsist on relief, charity, or live in poor houses. Eight, we want the government of the United States to exempt our people from all taxation as long as we are deprived of equal justice under the law of their land, America. The last one hot and the first one fought. Since we own no land here in America, out of all the 50 states now that America's on, she have not as yet offered to her 22 million free slaves who served their father for 300 years in servitously. Not even the teeniest state in the Union. She has not offered her slave nothing to go upon. While Israel was offered something to leave Egypt with, a few gold pieces. They was help to get out of Egypt. But we have been let loose like cattle, not even having any chance whatsoever to go away from our slave master to our own, and they would not carry us back to our people. Let us remember these things. Almighty God Allah taught us that our fathers wanted to go to the, back to their people, 
when they was put off on the shores of North America. And this ship, Jesus, that John Hawkins brought our parents here on, they stood and stared at it disappearing in the whole rhythm, crying, wanting to return with their hands stretched out towards that ship and tied and chained themselves bound together. Feet and when they when they was put off on this memorable shows, they stood there staring at that ship that brought them to a strange land and a strange people who could not speak either one's language. Now they have to live in a strange co uh, country and a strange people who had proven to them every mile from their native land that they were going to be the worst enemies that they ever lived with. They were going to be the people that would destroy them. They soon discovered that on the ship that they were <coughs> being brought here on. I don't know how we should say anything in the name of Jesus of good for us when this ship was named Jesus. This is how that we have always been deceived by the white man trying to use Jesus, the name Jesus, to lull us off in a mental sleep thinking that we are on our way to heaven. This is terrible. My beloved brothers and sisters, this is very hard for us to even, to accept today. Imagine our parents standing crying to return to their native land and people and you here today crying to stay with the very enemy that brought our fathers in subjection to their will, you are now turning your face from your own native land and turning it back towards our own prison house and our own enemies who have destroyed us and seek to further destroy us. How do you feel? How do you feel? Not wanting to return to your people. They are trying to make love with the very people that destroyed you and your parents. How do you feel? Acting sick. And even today they are beating and shooting you down throughout the country. There is no justice here for you and me. Why should not you want to be separated and be returned to your own? I ask you that question. Think over your parents on the eastern shores of North America, crying and praying to God to be returned to their own 400 years ago. How would they like are you like to see them rise up in the judgment condemning you for being such fools as now want to live in the land that absolutely enslaved them and killed them and beat them for 300 long years here? 
They would condemn you as being fools for not wanting to be separated and go to your own. Build up a nation for yourself after the white man say you are free. Remember that. We want an equal education so that you will know better. But separate in separate schools up to 16 for the boys and 18 for girls on the condition that the girls be sent to women's colleges and universities. We want all of our black children educated, taught and trained by their own teachers. Under such schooling system, we believe we will make a better nation of our people. The United States government should provide free for, for all. Of us, the necessary textbooks and equipment for schools and colleges. We believe that it's nothing but right and justice that they should build our schools and colleges and <coughs> universities and everything necessary to equip them for the teachings and trainings that we so miserably need and desire. The Muslims teacher shall be left free to teach them and train our people in the way of righteousness and the way of decency and self-respect. Ten, we believe that intermarriage or race mixing should be prohibited between the two races. We want the religion of Islam for our people and we want it taught to our people without hindrance or suppression. These are some of the things that we, the believers, in Allah and Islam, his true religion of entire submission. We are called Muslims. We who have submitted ourselves to do the will of Almighty God. We are the people that want nothing other than righteous. And we are the people that want to leave America for our own self and kind. Uh, thank you. I salam alaikum.